All right, so welcome back to another news video. This one is going to be very short because we only have a few pieces of news for you. So that being said, let's dive right in. This is brought to you by 35MMC. If you want to read our news summaries, then you can head over there and we have a few extra news articles for you to check out as well. Also, if you ever see any news, if you have any news to share, if you are a business in the analog industry or alternative photography, then please let us know. You can leave me a comment, you can send me a DM, or you can send an email to info at 35mmc.com. Our first story, if you haven't seen this yet, is Film Ferrania has released a new black and white film. It's 35 millimeter. It's called P33. It's an 160 ISO film and it's a panchromatic black and white film. Something interesting that Ferrania said was that this film will meet the needs of professionals while also opening up accessibility to newer photographers or enthusiasts, I think they said. But they also said this film was created to improve the processing and printing challenges that was brought by P30, which is one of their other black and white films in 35 millimeters. So I thought that was really interesting. So at the moment, if you're interested in trying out this stock, Film Ferrania's seems to be out of stock on their website, uh, but I found some stock on Cinestill, and I know that Don's used photo equipment has it in Dallas, Texas. However, that is an in-store purchase only, so you can't buy online from Don's, so you're only the only thing that I know of is Cinestill, and I actually emailed Film Ferrani and asked them where to get it from since they were all out online, and they said get it from Cinestill. So there you go. So the Film Ferrani P33 film is priced at $11.99 at Cinestill, and it was $11 US dollars, those are both US dollars, on Film Ferrani's website. There's a company called SHJC for short, and I think it stands for Shanghai Jai Cheng, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I might be saying that wrong, but I'll spell it out and I'll leave all the links down uh, below for you to check out. So this is the Shanghai Jai Cheng Technology Party Limited Company. And this is the same company that makes the Shanghai GP3 films. Now they have come out uh, with a pre-order for this uh, film called Shanghai Color 400. So it's a 400 ISO color film and it's available to pre-order on their website Right now. They are expected to be shipping in March. Now there are sample images on their Instagram if you want to see some sample images of the film. Uh, it's a, very similar to some of the sort of more Orwo films that have come out like NC500, but, but not. it doesn't look quite the same. So it's very interesting. Uh, <laughs> these two films in the news I will be getting to test out. So one is uh, being shipped and I have pre-ordered the Shanghai Color 400 film. On their website, which I will leave the links to down below, this new color film is priced at $12.99 US dollars. SHJC says their film has high saturation and a wide exposure latitude. So I will be looking forward to seeing more results from this film. So the Analog Spotlight is returning to the NEC Birmingham Photography Show this March, 16th to 19th. Uh, there will be the traditional, the Analog Spotlight that started in 2021. Um, however, this year they're calling it Analog Showcase. So if you go on the Photography Show's website, uh, go to What's On, I believe it's under the What's On section. Uh, there'll be a whole section with the analog showcase and it will have all the talks, all the exhibitors that will be there. Uh, there there'll be like a few of the familiar characters. So Analog Wonderland will be there, Intrepid, This Is How I Roll, Alfie Cameras will be there, Solar Can will be there, Zone Imaging. There's also gonna be MS Hobbies. Ilford will be there. The Disabled Photographer Society will be there. Tetanol will be there under their new name, which is Dupli. Uh, I think also Wex Camera World, Hannah Mule. <laughs> and there will also be Newell in the same area. Uh, Patterson Photographic will also be there. And I think that's all. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but <laughs> let me know. That's all that was on the uh, website. So 
Uh, there will be lots of talks as well, uh, including some talks from Rachel from Little Vintage Photography, Kate Hook, uh, Paul Mackay from Analog Wonderland. There will also be some talks from Michelle and Neil from Ilford. Uh, Corinne Gretton West, Laura Platman, Joe Bradford, Paulo Sullivan from MS Hobbies, Craig Fleming, Miles from the Expired Film Club, uh, and Dave from Alfie Cameras. And Zone Imaging will be releasing their new developer at the photography show. So they'll be releasing it there, but also resellers and retailers should have it by then as well. So you can get day tickets for the photography show, or you can get multi-day tickets. Um, but if you are a content creator, uh, professional photographer, filmmaker, member of the press, you can apply to get in for free. Opening hours are from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And this goes from Saturday to Tuesday. So Saturday, March 16th to Tuesday, March 19th. All right, so that's the photography show. That is a huge show that a lot of people go to. A lot of people will be there. Um, discover, learn, connect engage, get inspired, all that stuff. I will sadly not be there um, because I will be a Policon. <laughs> so uh, yes. All right. So a few other cool pieces of news and tidbits. FPP has a new love film. It's called, it's, this is a Shamrocks version. So this is a 35 millimeter black and white film. It's a surveillance film. You get 24 exposures in one roll. It's a 200 ISO film. It is DX coded. And on FPP's website, they have some developing recommendations. And that is $9.99 US dollars from the FPP store, which I will link down below. Reflex Lab, as you know, they, um, they sell film, but they also sell some accessories. And I've done a review of their light meter on this channel. But I just noticed the other day, I went there to get some film and I just noticed they have these new products that like I haven't heard of yet and I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen anyone talk about yet. Um, maybe I haven't, maybe people have been and I've just <laughs> missed it, uh, but I wanted to include it here anyways today. So something cool is they have a distance meter. So if you've got one of those like um, scale focus cameras or, or something where you have to set the focus and you have to estimate it at like six feet, 12 feet, 18 feet, whatever. Uh, I've got a manual folder camera. It's a Zeiss Icon Editor and you have to do that. So you have to like guess the distance. Um, this will measure that distance for you. So you don't have to guess, which sounds really cool. And that's from Reflex Labs website and it's for $29.99 US dollars. So that works on a cold shoe basis. And yeah, I won't, I won't go into all the specs, but I will leave the link to where you can find this uh, down below. Okay, so Reflex Lab also put out a waist level viewfinder, which is really cool. Um, I'm not sure how this would work, like how helpful it is in practice because it looks pretty small. Um, but again, it, it looks really cool. Uh, and that is 60 US dollars. That is made of their um, typical make. It's aviation grade aluminum, uh, compatible with almost any camera with a hot or cold shoe. As we know, people love waist level viewfinders. So whether you get it for your own photography because you enjoy that or you get it for TikTok, <laughs> it's there and it looks really cool. So after I recorded the video for this news, I saw that Pentax had released a new update on their film camera project and it was actually a pretty big update. So I just wanted to include it here. Uh, so that's why this is a voiceover, <laughs> not a talking head part. Um, but basically, I'll just give you the bullet point update. The team is saying they're going to make a half frame vertical oriented camera with an electronic shutter unit that enables uh, auto modes for shooting. So the camera will be able to shoot in auto. Photographers will still be able to change settings manually in some ways. And one idea that TKO mentioned was using a dial control. There will be a manual, manually set zone focus system that will also be able to, I think they said they were going to put a guide in the viewfinder or something like this. There's also an update on the lens that will be in the camera. So uh, TKO said that they took inspiration uh, from uh, two different Pentax cameras. So the angle of view from the Pentax auto half and the optical design from the Pentax SBO mini series. 
And then he reiterated something that we already know is that the camera will have a manual wind and rewind function. Now, this is super exciting. I'm so excited for this camera. I think that the half frame was a really good move, especially with auto and some manual. I think this is a really good move for Pentax because, um, I mean, we've seen evidence of how popular these cameras are. Look at the Kodak slash Reto Pro. Uh, Ektar H35 and H35N and how popular those uh, cameras are. I mean, that's my most popular video to date on this channel is the H35N review. I think this is a good idea for Pentax, especially because as prices continue to rise, uh, it makes it more affordable being a half frame camera. That is it for today. That was a super fast and super quick news video. Let me know if you guys have any other news to share. Uh, comment down below, send me a DM on Instagram, or send an email to info at 35mmc.com. And that is it for me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.